Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing a bit of a wardrobe declutter and um, if you want to know why we're going to be doing a bit of a wardrobe declutter. So you know how everyone has the chair? I have the cute little fluffy stool that I got from World Market um, but it's really gotten out of hand. Um, so down here, as you can probably see, I've got this situation. I have a bag from a shoot last week that I have not unpacked. I have some Fashion Week returns over there. And then like this rack is just looking extremely disorderly. I also have my drawers in addition to my dresser over here. This is like nothing is closing, stuff is popping out of it. It's just like a mess in general. Um, and if you guys have watched my room tour, you'll know that like none of this is even my closet. So let me bring you out. Um, the way this apartment is set up, there's not a closet in that bedroom. So we have a hall closet right here, which is my closet. Um, my roommates and I have decided. And this is just like looking pretty messy and awful too. So my mission today is basically to rectify this whole situation. I just need to get my life in order, possibly put some summer stuff away, bring out some fall stuff to make room for a couple of new pieces that I've picked up. I honestly have not been doing a ton of shopping lately just because it's the freelance life. I'm living like waiting for this paycheck to come in, that paycheck to come in, and I'm trying to be really careful about what I'm spending money on. Um, so most of my new purchases have been, if you saw like my come shopping with me to Zara video, um, I had a gift card for my birthday, stuff like that. So it's not even like there's too much stuff coming in it's just at this point there's 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 too much stuff so we are going to go through some of this together and what I think I'm going to do first is try to tackle everything that is in my room so I'm gonna do the rack the chair all of that situation I think I'm gonna put everything onto my bed figure out if anything is going to go into the closet and then bring stuff from the closet in here and just kind of try to get rid of stuff along the way as well. If you don't already follow me along on Poshmark, um, my link is always in the description box down below, but that is where I often post clothes that I'm selling from my closet. So if you ever have an interest in buying any of them, definitely click on that and it'll redirect you to my closet page and you can always like buy stuff in bundles or negotiate or whatever. Um, probably I'm just looking to get rid of it, so not super like stringent on the prices or anything. All right, and that was quite a lot, but I think the thing to do is just dive in right now. Um, it's 1.30, so I have to finish at least today whatever I'm doing by four o'clock because I'm gonna go to New Jersey this weekend with Andrew and I'm just looking to detox from Fashion Week, so we figured getting out of the city for a few days would be a smart thing to do. So let's see what I accomplish in the next three and a half hours and time lapse. Okay, you guys, so I'm off to a good start. So this and this are what was on the rack before that's gonna go back on there. And then this was a couple of miscellaneous things that were um, on that little stool that I'm going to add onto the rack that I picked up recently. So, and even with that though, I have this many empty hangers now. Um, and I will talk through this pile with you guys in one second because this is some stuff that I might keep, might not keep, um, and then a couple of summer things in there that I'm gonna go put in the other closet uh, just because it'll be a little more out of my way so I can focus on more fall-centric pieces. And then of course I had like some random workout stuff over there that I can put away with the rest of the workout stuff. Let me show you what the rack looks like now that I've put everything back on it and then we will address the stuff on the bed. Like I mentioned before, I do have some empty hangers now, but there are probably a couple of things in the hall closet that I'm going to want to bring out here because this rack to me is kind of my like go-to pieces for whatever season we're in. So I like that they're here, I like that they're easy to find, and I like that they're easy to put on. 
um, and I also don't have to like leave my room to get stuff which is good too. I think you can already tell that we've got a bit of a darker color palette going on. I haven't eliminated all color. Um, I'm keeping my blazers here because I've been trying to incorporate kind of more lighter toned colors, mixing them with more fall colors, so I'm keeping them out for now mostly as an experiment so that if I want to try anything new it's still right there and easy for me to find. You can also see more jewel tones. I forgot all about this Topshop jacket that my mom got me last year. It has these ruffle sleeves. I think it's so beautiful. I've obviously got my go-to burgundy blazer. I've now got a bright red blazer from Zara, um, which I'm obsessed with too. Some tops from Topshop. So I've got a lot of stuff here that is going to make my fall dressing much easier. It's so much nicer to look at this rack right now and not feel like it's overcrowded with stuff. So, let's talk about what's on my bed. So this is the pile of stuff that was up there before while I was cleaning everything out. And what I think is going to happen is probably half of this is going to go into the other closet, um, kind of as summer items that I don't use as much, and then the other half probably will go either on my Poshmark shop or in a giveaway box. And I had these two items over here that I was going to put on this rack, but um, the pants hanger doesn't match the rest of the hangers, and I want this one to be on a pants hanger. I'm going to hang these up in my closet. And then also this dress that I got from the Lulu Style Studio during Fashion Week. It's just a maxi dress, and it's kind of hard to hang maxi things on this rack, so that's why I'm going to put that in the hall closet. And then this pair of shorts just has a little hole on it, so I'm going to touch that up and fix it with my needle and thread. So over here, this was an amazing purchase I made from Forever 21 a couple seasons ago, and it had this really cool white lace detail. The thing about it is it's really hard to wash and take care of, as is the problem with some Forever 21 garments. It's not like unwearable by any means, but there are a couple little stains and things on it that I'm not in love with. So if I can give that away, I think I would rather do that because I will probably find another one in the next spring season. This kind of lacy slip dress is a gift that I was given from Heartloom. They gift me some stuff usually each season. I think I'm just gonna put this away for right now. Um, I think maybe it is more of a summer piece. I'm having trouble picturing how I would wear it right now. So I'm going to put that in with the rest of my summer stuff. Also with this dress that I got from the Reformation sample sale. I'm with a sword gypsy warrior that actually closed down about a year ago. But they used to have all this cool stuff and this like nude kind of blazer kind of more of a drapey blazer situation was one of those things. I would have a really hard time just getting rid of this, but I haven't worn it in such a long time. Maybe if I try it on. All right, here it is on. What do we think, guys? I remember loving this and wearing it so much. I just feel like it's not my style anymore. I kind of wish this would just like be more drapey without making this fake kind of lapel situation. I wish it was maybe long sleeved. Or, I don't know, do any of you have any great suggestions for how to style this? Um, I'll keep it around until this video goes live, so if you have any thoughts on this, let me know. Next up is this from my Primark haul. I love this and I'm absolutely keeping it. It is just super, super summery. Um, these pants from Boohoo, oh my god, I wore these like four times during last year's September Fashion Week. I kind of just feel like I've run out of ideas of how to wear them since they're super pleated. I've been into more tailored pieces lately, so I think that these might either go on my Poshmark or I will give them away. This is my Nasty Gal romper that I wore to literally every event this summer. It was the easiest possible thing to wear. I will pop in a photo of me wearing it because I've worn it so many times and I love it and I'm keeping it and it will be in with the rest of my summer stuff. Here is another jacket that I'm not fully sure if I'm going to keep. It's like a moto jacket in this blush pink and it's a suede fabric. I got this from the LF sale I think two years ago. Here's my question though, um, where is it? Right here, there's like a little bit of a stain on it. Is it really worth it to try to clean the suede or would someone buy this for $30 at Buffalo Exchange and be really happy about it? I don't know, I kind of feel like it's not my style anymore, but I remember thinking how cool this was with the kind of loose seams here and the edges. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll put this on my Poshmark and just make a note about the stains and the imperfections and sell it for a cheaper price. Uh, I don't know. I really wish I could keep it, but I feel like I have not reached for it in so long that I feel like someone else would appreciate it much more than I do right now. Right, and then I have another piece from Heartloom. What I think I might do with this one is see if I can find a friend who would like it. Um, I kind of feel weird about selling things that have been gifted to me. I don't know. I 
just don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's in such good condition, so I don't necessarily want to just dump it in with the rest of the Buffalo Exchange stuff. So if you're a friend of mine who thinks you might want this dress, um, let me know. Next up is this striped jumpsuit that I got from Forever 21. I wore this so much this summer. I wore it in London and I love it. So I am just going to hang it up with the rest of the summer stuff. Up next is this top from Brandy Melville. It is an off-the-shoulder plain black top. It is perfect for summer, but super impractical for right now, so I will put that in my closet. And next up is this star romper. Um, I love wearing this. It's perfect for work in the summer because it's not too low cut in the front and the shorts are a really, really good length, totally office appropriate. I love how it cinches in at the waist. I've worn like sweaters over this even in the fall before, but I am going to put it along with the other summer stuff in the hall closet. So I know I only got a couple of things from this rack that I'm going to give away. Some of the rest of it is going to go in the closet to be stored for next summer, but I'm going to leave this here because I'm going to bring the closet stuff in here next and kind of lay it out. And I have a feeling that since I haven't seen a lot of that stuff in a while, this pile is going to get bigger. But I can't get over how much better and how much more organized it looks. I feel like I have so much more of my life together already just by doing this. So let's see if we can dive into the closet next. So just kidding, guys. I got a little scared of the closet, so I'm going to ease my way into it. Um, so I went ahead and emptied out these two drawers, and I have the contents on my bed. So let's go through those first. So the top drawer, for whatever reason, had denim shorts and bathing suits together um, and one black sweater, which should have been in drawer number two, the second drawer, but my guess is it was in this drawer because it did not fit in this drawer. So let's see if we can change that. So as far as bathing suits go, I'm going to keep all of these because I usually don't really outgrow my bathing suits and I don't really buy new bathing suits unless I'm going somewhere specific. And anyway, all of these are in great condition, so I will keep them and just put them towards the back of the drawer since it is now fall. And then I'm getting rid of about half of my denim shorts that were in this uh, drawer over here. So these are the pairs that I'm keeping in addition to these that I'm wearing right now from DL 1961. And then these are the ones that I'm getting rid of. So I loved this pair of BDGs from Urban Outfitters, but the fact of the matter is they're just too small for me and who wants to wear uncomfortable denim shorts? This is a pair that I got from my Primark haul and I have to say like, you really got what you paid for with these. The quality is just not amazing. I hate how it kind of did this with the fabric. Um, some of these rips have already ripped. So I think that someone would be really excited to find these in like Buffalo Exchange or something. And then this pair of shorts from Karma Denim. I remember being so excited when I found these. They're kind of just not really my style. They're very like music festival specific shorts, if you get what I'm saying. So for that reason, these three pairs are out. Okay, so again, that sweater clear out was pretty easy. These are the ones that I'm keeping. I got almost all of these, or actually, yes, I did get all of these last season, and the ones that I am going to say goodbye to I've had for a really long time. So this one, um, as you can see, it's super fluffy. It's really cozy. I just honestly don't wear it. This was this one from Eunuch, and it has like a high low hem, so it's higher in the front, lower in the back. It has a really nice v-neck. Um, and then this black one from Free People, this one is also super cozy. It's pretty lightweight. It's really nice for people who are like sweat easily, like I am, so that's probably why I got it in the first place. Um, and then I'm also gonna say goodbye to this Free People sweater. I've had this for so many years. Like, I feel like it's been at least three or four years now. It's really nubbly and cozy, perfect kind of sweater to just cuddle up in by the fireplace, but I think I need to reevaluate my basic knits for this season. So now, at least for shopping, I know I'm going to be on the lookout for a cream colored sweater and a plain black sweater to wear with some of my looks. And I know that these are all in great condition. So whoever gets these, whether it's Poshmark or like a closet sale is gonna be super excited. All right, I knew that would make me feel better if I conquered the drawers first, um, at least those top two. The other drawers are my t-shirts and then kind of miscellaneous like flannels, random things like that. And those pretty much never change. So I'm not gonna bother going through those right now, but I'm going to take a quick lunch break right on cue, and uh, I will be back with you guys after to tackle the closet. All right, so just had some lunch. I feel prepared to take on this part of the closet. It's about three o'clock now, so I have an hour until I need to stop and get ready and pack for New Jersey this weekend. So let's see what I can get done in this hour. Time lapse. <laughs> half half of what was in the closet and 
this is the current bed situation. But I think I'm gonna have to tackle this in halves. So let me see if I can get through this half of the closet first, and then I'll turn my attention to the other half of the closet. Okay, so, so far I have this pile right here and this pile here that I am keeping. I know it looks pretty, um, like, monstrous, but this is a lot of my fall sweaters and kind of thicker jackets and things like that, some of which might end up on this rack over here. And then this pile back here is what I've decided to declutter, so I will walk you through a little bit what, if any, of these pieces end up kind of back on this rack and then what I'm actually going to get rid of or keep. Okay, so here I've grabbed a couple of things that were in my closet that I'm going to move to this rack over here and I have my like long sleeve black Gypsy Warrior dress, so good for fall. I have this top from ASOS that I wore to death last year. I'm obsessed with this. I've got this kind of like long sleeveless blazer situation from Topshop, so I love layering that in the fall. I found my velvet high waist wide leg pants for mango um, and I love wearing these also. And then just a couple of cozy sweaters and cardigans. This rack is now pretty much full. I still have three hangers to spare in case I find anything last minute that I want to add to it, or if there's something from that closet that I find myself wearing again and again, or if there's something from that closet that I find myself wearing again and again that I'd rather have out here, but this looks so amazing right now. I am loving all the fall vibes, and if you come over here, let me turn the camera around. So this is the pile of empty hangers that I have since I've decided to declutter what's over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff back in the closet first so I have all the room on the bed to focus on what I'm decluttering. Do you guys hear the ice cream truck? It's September! All right, perfect, it left just in time. So let me go through now the pile of stuff that I am going to declutter. I have those hangers left over from everything that was on them before, so looks like I'll have some empty space, which is great. My first things first, I know everyone's gonna be so mad I'm getting rid of these, but these are a pair of burgundy velvet bell bottoms. They truly just do not suit my style anymore, but I know someone is going to love them. Um, and same situation with these black pants from Free People. They're so wrinkled right now. Oh my God, I'll steam them before I put them on Poshmark, but they're so good. Um, I just have a bit more of a tailored style that I prefer now, so I'm going to put these up on Poshmark, I think. Another pair of like stretchy pant bell bottoms. Uh, these are from Gypsy Warrior. These were so, so comfy and great, but I really just don't have any occasions to wear them anymore. This jumpsuit from Free People, I've gotten such good wear out of over the years, um, but as you guys can see, I've kind of moved away from more of the tribal print stuff and into more kind of tailored, lots more like solid colors, basics, and then florals are kind of always a recurring thing for me also, so not that I don't love it, I just feel like there's someone else out there who can style this up in an amazing way, and while I'm on the topic of jumpsuits. Um, this burgundy one from Forever 21 is amazing. It just does not fit me anymore, so that I think will be going on Poshmark as well. Okay, you guys, I only have 15 minutes before I have to stop doing this and get ready, and I still have half of the closet in there to do, so what I think I'm going to do is just go through everything in the closet there, and then I will bring out anything that I've decluttered and explain why I'm decluttering it. Okay guys, so that didn't take too much time. Here's my declutter pile. I'm gonna start with this Toby dress that I wore on my 21st birthday. Hey, TBT. Um, but it is way too short for me now. I don't know what happened or if it was just really short when I turned 21, which hey, it could have been. Um, but I don't wear it and I'm going to see if I can find a better home for it. This was another piece that was gifted to me. I think you guys can kind of tell that it's not necessarily my style. So again, I'm hopefully gonna find a friend to give that to. This is another dress from Boohoo on ASOS. I think I'm just kind of over the Fortuny pleats right now. Like I did give away that pair of pants from Boohoo earlier in the video. So I think I'm just like maybe not in a pleats mood right now, but maybe someone who is will find this and love it. I'm getting rid of this probably for obvious reasons. Like, holy crap, look at it. Um, I wore this last year on Valentine's Day to replicate Rihanna's photo wearing an almost identical one. 
I believe, by YSL. Uh, and it was, you know, I didn't even take the tag off when I took the picture. This was just gifted to someone at interview. They gave it to me, and now I am going to give it away. The last thing I'm going to give away is this blue embroidered romper. There's totally nothing wrong with it. I just really wasn't reaching for it this summer, so I think that someone else would enjoy this way more than I do. All right, you guys, and that is absolutely everything. I've got, like, hair going everywhere. I'm very sweaty, um, but I have completed my task of decluttering my closet. Um, I do realize that I still technically have these drawers to go through, but I think this is about all I can handle today. So let's take a look at what I got done. Okay, so first of all, this is my jean shorts drawer now. Remember, it couldn't even close before. It's so much better. I've got my bathing suits back here, shorts here. And then this is my fall sweater drawer. I've got five in here now, which is much better, but now I know what I have to shop for when I go decide to finally shop for some new fall stuff. This is the rack situation right now. As you see, I color code my rack so I can kind of find things really easily, what I'm looking for. Um, so this makes me super, super happy. And then out here, in this closet this is what this looks like now i know it doesn't look like a lot but all of this is empty space now and all of these hangers are now empty too so this is kind of a lot of jackets and coats and stuff i think i'm gonna probably come back in and reorganize this a little bit when i get back from this weekend but since i don't have time right now that's fine and then this is the other side what it looks like right now so you can see a lot of the pieces that i was talking about that were on my rack that were summery are just gonna hang in here until they're needed again when it's warm out so this massive stack of stuff right here is all going to either end up on my poshmark or i'm going to bring it to a goodwill there's this pile over here too because i couldn't fit it all over there so there's going to be two huge bags of clothes going into giveaway which i am really excited about and it just makes me feel more organized and lighter and ready for a new season and that's it you guys we have successfully decluttered my wardrobe thank you for coming along with me um i haven't done this type of video yet so let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below what did you like about it what might you want to see differently next time um anything along those lines as i mentioned the link to my poshmark is always down in the info box so definitely hop onto there and see if there's anything that interests you if you're not already please subscribe to my channel there's going to be lots more fall fashion and beauty and all of that kind of videos i put out a new video at least once a week on Wednesdays. Sometimes I do more if I feel like it too. And based on what you guys tell me, I always try to create content that you love. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up down below. Really appreciate it. And it helps my channel out more than you know. And that's it guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.